Hey everyone, welcome back to LC Drone Solutions. My name is Lamir Carter. Today we're diving into some unexpected news from the drone delivery world. A company by the name of Swoop Aero, it's a Australian Melbourne. They have just filed for voluntary administration and I'll talk a little bit about what that is in a second. It's a major shakeup for the company because they're known for their innovative medical supply delivery to remote areas. So Swoop Aero, has made headlines over the years for their ambitious missions. They've delivered vaccines, pathology samples, supplies related to medical to regions with limited access to healthcare. And since their 2017 launch, they've expanded globally, making impacts across uh, several continents, I think six to be exact, with over uh, a million successful deliveries. Unfortunately, recent financial challenges have placed the company in a difficult position. So this article comes by way of Drone XL. The drone delivery pioneer Swoop Aero files for bankruptcy after 26 million investment run. This was published October 22nd by Hey Castello. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So voluntary administration is a legal process in Australia that allows financially troubled companies to get a temporary reprieve from creditors while administrators evaluate options to save the business. So I guess you could equate it to chapter 11 here in the States. Now, when a company enters voluntary administration, its directors voluntarily appoint an external admin to manage the company's affairs. During this period, the administrator may negotiate with creditors and explore potential restructures or sales to give the company a fresh start. This is where Swoop Aero is at currently. Melbourne-based drone delivery startup Swoop Aero has entered the voluntary administration as of October 14th. According to the report from Startup Daily, the move comes as a shock to many in the industry who'd watched the company's meteoric rise over the past seven years. After burning through $26 million in venture funding, including backing from heavy hitters like, what is that, C. Ciro's Main Sequence Ventures and the CIA's tech investment arm in QTEL, Swoop Arrow couldn't secure what seems like pocket change, just a few hundred dollars, just a few hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, they probably wish it was just a few hundred dollars to finish building their kite drones. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Pretty ironic considering CEO Eric Peck was telling Forbes in early 2023 they were about to raise 60 million in the US and hit 100 million in revenue by 2025. That fundraising round never materialized, leaving the company in a precarious position. So, what went wrong? Peck blames investor pressure and claims they just didn't get how aviation safety works. And quote, when you're the director responsible for aviation safety, you hold extra liability, he told the affair, or excuse me, the uh, AFR. The company got stuck in a classic startup catch-22. They need money to build drones to make money, but couldn't get money without making money first. Okay. Make things worse, trying to cut corners to save two months of cost ended up setting them back a whole year. The situation was further complicated by what Peck described as a turbulent 2023, where the company struggled to meet its regulatory product and operational demands while facing a significant funding shortfall. So from my understanding, challenges like this, what Swoop Aero is going through, is not uncommon in startups, especially in sectors involving high-risk technology like drone logistics. The fall is particularly dramatic given that Swoop Aero had apparently turned down a $100 million takeover offer in 2022. Now they can't even scrape together enough cash to keep the lights on. Still, they've got something to show for all that spent cash. More than 1.6 million successful deliveries across six continents. And their kite drone is no joke. Capable of flying 124 miles per hour with an 11-pound payload over 112 miles. These impressive stats make the company's current situation even more puzzling to industry observers. 
Yeah, what a twist. So they turned down a $100 million buyout offer in 2022. This suggests that the company felt confident in its ability to scale independently and achieve significant financial success. However, in hindsight, I'm sure they're thinking about this now. Administrator Simon Nelson from BPS Reconstruction is trying to keep the company alive while looking for buyers or new investors. The business continues to operate under administration, suggesting there's still hope for a turnaround. The first creditors meeting is set for October 24th in Melbourne, which was yesterday, where more details about the company's financial situation will likely emerge. The C SIRO backed main sequence ventures and other major investors like Giant Leap are putting on a brave face, saying they still believe in the technology's potential. Uh, Giant Leap managing partner Will, Will, Richards, Will Richardson even expressed optimism about Swoop Arrow's products and their capacity to continue making a positive impact in the future. I'm going to end it here. I will put the link in the description for you all to read the full article yourselves. And I'll keep an eye out as this story continues to further develop. So with that said, um, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you've been following Swoop Arrow's journey, comment down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think they'll make a comeback? And would you trust a drone delivery service for medical supplies in your area? comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, and I will see you all in the next part, the next video. With that said, take care.